What's going on guys? Wanted to do a master class in staining. I got into this piece of wood that was beautiful. This is a piece of box elder and I'm staining it and a lot of the figure runs right through the center and then as you get to the edges it runs out. So when you hear the term grain run out or figure run out that's what's happening here. It happens in a lot of the billets that are cut for guitars, this is a beautiful piece of wood. And this side looks great. And then as you get to this side, you know when I split this open, this is called run out. So you have the nice piece of figure running here. It starts to fade on the edge. So a lot of times when I'm doing these stains, you'll see me add the darker color on the outside Part of it is aesthetic and part of it is to hide what's going on. Very rarely do guitar companies like to take that whole piece of wood because you're gonna lose some of it. So then think about it, you're paying for this whole piece of wood and you're gonna cut essentially more than a third off of it and you wanna try and maximize you know, your piece of wood to what you're doing here. So this is the run out. What I always do is I get the darker color and then I fade it back out to just highlight the area of figure here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some red and purple to this. So this video will be posted shortly, but I wanted to do one in the meantime because I thought it was really important just to show you guys. This is sanded back purple. So we got Angelus purple. And as I was sanding it off, you could just start to see the grain run out on this side here and you just lose that coloring. So you got to add it back. So most of the time when you're planning out your guitar builds, planning out your body builds, you're going to lose some of that figure run out. It's just going to happen. You can't really do anything about it. You know, even in the greatest, most beautiful pieces of wood, this side looks great. This side looks a lot different. So if this was a 5A master billet, blah, 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 you'd see the figure running through it the whole way, and this is not. So a lot of us are dealing with, let's say 3A, 4A pieces of wood, and we just, you know, the cost benefit of it, it's just not there to buy the most expensive piece of wood sometimes. A lot of my tricks of the trade are using stains to enhance the wood to really get it to to pop so i've got the great center line running here maybe a little bit more up here but i know once i add the color it's going to pop so that's why when you see me feathering in the color from the outside it's trying to kind of mimic or mask the lack of grain here because you know you do that versus this that's nothing that's everything. So just a master class in how I'm staining. I got into this one. I was like, wow, this is really way, uh, a lot more variation than I would have thought in this one. I didn't think I'd have this much even looking at uh, this before I got there. So just a quick master stain video on a Saturday morning. I know some of you guys are gonna head out into the shop. Maybe some of you are staining, maybe this helps. But uh, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next video.